grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. The Lord is here. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Welcome everybody as we join for worship on this fourth Sunday of Easter. To some it's Good Shepherd Sunday and to many others it's also Vocation Sunday when many churches across the world of varying denominations will remind us of our calling in God to, to follow and to serve. But more of that a little later as Craig uh, preaches for us. Let's take a moment as we gather to remember the week that's gone past and to acknowledge we meet in the presence of God. We say together, Faithful One, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives. For the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we, as we prepare to celebrate, let us call to mind our sins and open ourselves up to God's forgiveness and new life. We have not always worshipped God, our Creator. Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed Christ, our Saviour. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Father, Lord of the world. Through your Son you have called us into the fellowship of your universal church. Hear our prayer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry, each may be an instrument of your love. Through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We stand for our Gospel reading. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. The wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. 
so there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Roy. Good morning, everyone. Please stay standing just for a moment, if you're able to, that is. It won't be for much longer, I promise. But I'd like to start this morning by making some statements. And if the statement applies to you, then please sit down. So the first statement. So sit down if you have had to change careers in your life. And now sit down if you've ever belonged to a different church or been part of a different congregation. And for anyone still standing, sit down if you've had a different job than you wanted to do when you were younger. And for those last stalwarts, please sit down if at any point in your life you found yourself doing something you never thought you'd do. I'm impressed. <laughs> please, please have a seat, Bernice, by all means. Thank you. So we should all be seated now. If you're not, please be seated. And we'll come back to that in a little while. But first, while we're all sat down, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Well, I feel I live in the perfect location to be opening up our gospel reading for today. Of course, any talk of shepherds and sheep always goes down well in the Lake District. And as myself and my wife find on every car journey we seem to have taken since we moved here, we have our children in the back and it's only a matter of minutes until one of them looks out of their window and shouts, Sheep! Sheep! And when we first moved here, myself and Emma would also be going, Wow, yes, look at this! Two years later, we find ourselves struggling to respond with the same enthusiasm of, yeah, more sheep. But in today's reading, we have Jesus, who clearly, no matter how many sheep he sees, he never loses enthusiasm. And we are those sheep. That should make you feel pretty good about yourselves. No matter who we are, no matter how broken we might be, no matter how many times we royally screw up, our good shepherd is there and calls to us. Using our names, he calls us, he knows us. Well, today, as Angela said at the start, at least for the Church of England, it is Vocation Sunday. And as the diocesan young vocations champion, oh yes, I'm clearly preaching to the right congregation for young vocations. At least some of you might be young at heart. Now when I mention vocations, some of you might recoil or start drifting off and think, well, I'm not being called to be a vicar, so it doesn't really apply to me. Thanks, Greg. Good luck with the rest of the sermon. But I'm going to start daydreaming about what I had for tea last night or what I watched on the telly. Well, look, stop. Before you drift off, come back. And let's think about what today's gospel says again. That when Jesus calls, the sheep hear his voice. In verse 16, there are sheep that don't belong to this fold. 
but he brings them into his fold and they hear his voice. That's us. That's you. That's me. That's everyone. At the start, I asked you to stay stood up if you hadn't had to change jobs. If you'd done what you wanted to do from being a child. If you hadn't had to change churches. And most of us had to sit down. Because that's not what God wants for us. If we each did what we wanted for ourselves, what would our lives look like? It's like the wolf coming and scattering us. We'd be so disjointed all doing our own things with no common interest, no shared faith, no body of Christ. Yet here we all are, whether in person or online, from vastly different places, all on different paths that look nothing like the paths we might have planned out for ourselves when we were younger. I wanted to be a pilot, like they're going to trust me with a plane. Instead, God's call on each of our lives is so varied and exciting. If we were all called to do the same things, life would be a bit boring. But today is a chance to be reminded of the person God's calling us to be. And it's not always the person we want to be. But God has a calling for every one of us. And it's much deeper than a job. It's the Christian we are called to be. How we live our shared faith amongst each other, but also among the rest of God's people. Whether you're called to be a Christian in the workplace, or a Christian presence for your children, or grandchildren, or godchildren. Whether a Christian presence in the community, you might be a person on a flower rotor, or a cleaning rotor, or on the PCC, a member of a committee, a lay minister, even a deanery synod representative. Or if you're really unlucky, you might be called to be a minister. But as we go into this week, and as I figure out whether I'm called to be the curate that climbs Everest, or whether I'm called to be the curate that will be forever remembered as the idiot who fell down the tower trying to (laughs) climb Everest, remember that you were once a sheep in a different fold, with your own ideas, your own plans. And God called your name, and you heard the good shepherd's voice, and you followed it. No matter what that call was, and continues to be, you followed, and you continue to follow it. There are so many people outside our church building. So many of our own friends So many in our own families who we might see as still being in the other fold. But God hasn't forgotten them. No matter who they are, no matter their gender, their sexuality, the color of their skin, none of it matters. Every one of them God wants to bring into his fold. Every one of them has a calling for their life. Perhaps your calling is to help them see that. Amen.
So if you're able, please stand. And as each of us hears that call in our own way, let us respond together and declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. But please be seated as we continue with our prayers. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in Jesus you have given us a good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. We pray for those who give of themselves and take risks to serve others who are suffering or in danger. Grant them courage and endurance and time for rest and refreshment. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We thank you for the compassion of the Good Shepherd, leading his sheep to still waters and safe pasture. We pray for all who work amongst those who are living in poverty and those who care for the victims of abuse and neglect. Grant them determination, patience and empathy and strength to go on in the face of disappointment. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We thank you for the love of the Good Shepherd, who knows his sheep by name. We pray for all who are engaged in pastoral care in our churches, communities, and society. Grant them wisdom, understanding, listening ears, and caring hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We remember people we know who are facing times of difficulty or anxiety, sickness or sorrow, and the many we do not know. We pray that they may know the presence of the Good Shepherd and find in him comfort, strength, peace, healing, and hope. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for all in positions of leadership in the church and in the world. All who are called into the work of shepherding people. Give them wisdom in their work. We pray that they may lead carefully and lovingly. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for ourselves that we may hear the call of the Good Shepherd in our own lives and follow joyfully and trustingly in his way of love to wherever and whatever we are called to do. We ask it in his name and for his sake. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. did say last week that we would have lots of bands coming up and uh, having just finished completed one run of bands we're on a new one. It gives me great pleasure to publish the bands of marriage between William Joseph Charles Higginbotham and Samantha Jean Griffiths Jenkins of the parish of Kirkgate St Paul's and wishing to be married here by virtue of a qualifying connection of Henry Roger Knowles and Hannah Victoria Stoughton of the parish of Greyrig St. John's, also wishing to be here, married here by virtue of a qualifying connection, and Daniel John Lowther and Amy Eleanor Dawson of the parish of Kendall Holy Trinity, and likewise wishing to be married here by virtue of a qualifying connection. These are for the first time of asking and if any of you know any cause or just impediment why these persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, you are to declare it now. So we pray for Will and for Sam, for Henry and for Hannah, for Dan and for Amy. We pray for them in all their preparations towards their wedding day and wedding ceremony in all the things they've done and perhaps replanned and all those things still yet to do. But in addition, for their future life together, that the love that they have discovered for each other will give them joy and delight throughout their married lives and be a source of blessing not only for them, but for their family and friends and the world about them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus says, Love one another as I have loved you, so you are to love one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And I've missed off the rubric that says don't hug and shake hands and likewise but do look around please and give each other a smile or a wave of peace Gracious God, accept all of our gifts, and with them our lives, to be used in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is always right to give you thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. You sent your Son to live among us, Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins. He rose in glory from the dead. You send your spirit to bring new life to the world. And so we join the angels to celebrate and declare. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He broke the bread and thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that all who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. We hope that very close to you there will be some hand sanitizer. Please do use it before you receive communion. And all are invited to share in God's gifts of bread and wine. But if you wish not to and to receive a prayer of blessing instead, just wave, wave us off.
Let us say together, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying in living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.